Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we made it to the lab, we'd activated the fuse box, and we were ready to start clipping towards the end game now. Let's grab some stuff and uh, go through this door. We do need to go back upstairs, because there are some bits and bobs we can still play around with. But for now, Let's have a little wander down this corridor, shall we? Nothing? Nothing? I know there's a red herb here. So, that laboratory there, we'll have a little poke around inside. We'll also check this rather horrible looking room out. The door is open with the... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. We need the car key to get through there. That's cool. I'm sure we'll get one of those before too long. Let's go in through this door then, shall we? And let's poke our heads around the corner and see what we can see. Well, we have a rather suspicious looking locker here and it has explosive grenade rounds times two I mean sure why the devil not huh we've got 30 explosive rounds might as well use those puppies I guess uh, let's swap those out actually just because we can hey friendo how would you like a little blast from my friend here Ooh. Yeah, I actually forgot. I always forget that the grenade launcher in this game, it's like a cluster like a cluster bomb sort of thing. It's actually deceptively short range. See? Yeah, it's really not that fantastic, the normal grenade rounds anyway. There we go. Blew him into next week. Is there one more zombie here somewhere? Yeah, I was going to say. There's the lab card that we need. Boom! Oof! Going to fill that in the morning. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. Blew his bleeding body in half. Right, well, let's grab this card. Yeah, we're going to take the lab card. So, although we have loads of grenade rounds, obviously, if we do start fighting the zombies and what nine, and what nine, eh, right, uh, you can tear through these explosive rounds pretty quick, but I guess the flip side of that is they're, oh, he's not dead. Dude, not cool. Uh, you can start blasting through this ammunition pretty fast. So, is there anything in here? Various chemicals. What kind of experiments have been performed here? Uh, to be honest, Claire, you don't want to know. It is literally the stuff of nightmares. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's pretty fucking horrific. I was going to say, it's pretty fucking horrific even for Umbrella's standpoint. Or oh, Umbrella's... Uh... <laughs> Right. Oh, hello. You killed William. I'll never forgive you for that. Wait. I've just prepared a sample of the G virus. And this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it. Sherry's in serious trouble. William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. <sighs> and if that happens, then Sherry won't. Won't. What? <laughs> William. Listen to Claire, the biochemist. Damn. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, I don't think he's dead yet, Annette. Holy shit. I mean, that is pretty different to the remake. Uh, w William is still alive. He's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. That's good. Sherry! 
Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Well, that's useful. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. Well, that's handy. Instructions. <laughs> she just has it on her. Sure. Instructions for synthesis of the G virus antigen. G virus code name. A uh, G vaccine code name. Devil. Any beings infected by the G virus will reproduce through the uh, impregnation of an embryo within another living being. Unless rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host's cells on a molecular level as it rewrites their DNA. Oh, so that's how it works. Once the metamorphosis is complete, the host will be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The duration of time for the process to run its course will vary from subject to subject. In the early stages of cellular invasion, it is possible to halt the progression of the metamorphosis through the administration of the G-vaccine antigen. The following procedure details the synthesis. The vaccine creation requires the base vaccine. This can be arrange, uh, arranged by the activator VAM. First set the empty cartridge into the VAM and activate it. After several moments, the process will be complete and the white-colored base vaccine will be set in the cartridge automatically. Then confirm the green light is on. Remove the cartridge and proceed to the next step. Once the base vaccine has been prepared, set it in the vaccine synth synthesis machine located in the P4 level experimentation room. The machine is fully automated and only requires the user to push the sequence start switch. At this point the program will run automatically and synthesis will be complete within approximately 10 seconds. As the synthesis of Devil is an extremely delicate process, the Quality will vary. Oh, the quality will vary with slight shocks and changes in temperature. Careful handling is required for the proper results. Yeah. Save my daughter. And tell her I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother. Tell her I love her. Sherry. Uh. Annette! Well, you got some uh, virus there. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been uh -oh. activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Oh shit. Well, um, I mean, it... It's cool that she had that, and that virus has been smashed. I hope that virus doesn't travel through that pool of blood. And <laughs> reanimator. Let's hope not. Right, let's have a little poke around in here, shall we? Yeah, I hope there's no horrible monster in here. Anything nasty? Oh, right, yes, the moth. I hate moths in real life. I absolutely hate these things. I really do. So that gives me great pleasure. Oh, that was quite efficiently done. They're quite awkward to kill most of the time. Oh, I've never noticed that before. Look at the handprint machine there. Will you operate the computer? Aye. Umbrella Rodam system. Or oh, Rodam system. Version 5.0. Culture Experiment Room Staff Registry. Accessing. Enter your username. Uh, and we are going with the very interesting name, Guest. Uh, like so. Excellent. Registration is complete. Guest resignation is valid for 24 hours. Excellent. All right, let's get out of here. Now, unfortunately, we can't make uh, much use of that. That will be useful in the second scenario. And I really do forget just how short this bloody lab section is. I mean, we've basically done 60 odd percent of it now. Let's get out of here. 
Sorry, Annette. Uh, we shall endeavour to make your death not in vain. Yeah, what a bloody um, change from remake. She is so much different in remake. So much better, I think. Yeah, Leon's got some serious shit to deal with right now. I can see you on the monitor. All employees proceed to the bottom platform. But never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security All office. Employees Please, the you must platform. save her. Wait a second. What are you gonna do? Where are you going? All employees proceed to the bottom I still have platform. a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that's exactly all the information Leon would like. It's all he needs, because it's Leon. But he'd probably like a little bit more information, Claire. That was pretty bad. Jesus. Right, anyway, let's get out of it. Right, we've got a long way to go. Oh, well, I mean, it feels like a long way. It kind of really actually isn't. Let's go back to the lab and start fiddling. Um, ah, bollocks. No, I do have the lighter. That's fine. Might as well use it. <clears throat> it's not super important, I don't think. Like, the only thing it's going to get us is a little bit extra ammo. But, I mean, come on, extra ammo. Who doesn't want extra ammo? I'm glad we don't have to watch Claire walk up this entire ladder. Oof, imagine that. And I'm curious about that plant that's there, the mega vine. Shame we can't read out anything on that. It kind of puts plant 42 to shame. And we have another vine. We have some more ivies. Well, we've got just a cure for these things. Is it just the one? Yeah, it's just the one, I think. Oh no! Oh shit! On a shovel! Fucking hell! You! Little son of a bitch! I can't believe it did that to me. Well, I can. We're on caution. Damn, I didn't even see that motherfucker standing there. Hmm! Little snake. Well, you're right there, Chief. I'm going to finish what you started, my friend. I really think you should be able to use... There we go. Use some fire ammo. To do that as well. I'm sure you could. That's really bothering me. To be honest. I'm sure you could. Right, let's get in through here anyway. Like I said, this room's only a bonus. You don't need to use this room, but... But this room... has a bit of a fuck factor. Yes. We have liquor trouble. But that's okay. Because we have a grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so what's in here? Ooh, two loads of grenade rounds. I mean, sure, I suppose. Just when we thought we were running low. The game's just like, eh, here's 12 more. We don't want you to struggle towards the end of the game now, do we? It's very good of you, game. Back up to 26. I don't think there's anything else in here. The interior has been destroyed by the plant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing else? Yeah, we can't go back the way we came, sadly. The interior's been destroyed yet. Let's go. Alright. You've unlocked it. Good. So these are rather interesting liquors. They seem to be being taken over, at least to some degree, by the plants. At least I think that's what's happening. Alright, let's switch up to flame rounds, just in case. 
And we've still got the lab card as well. I'm pretty sure we don't need that anymore. No, maybe we do. Um, tempted to go back for some health. Maybe that's a good idea. Possibly drop the spark shot off as well. Or I'm going to sit here and drink coffee. Yeah, so I've drunk all my ale. Sad face. Okay, so those skinless zombies uh, do. Oh, the naked zombies do not come back. Good to know, I guess. Uh, yep, Leon's got Sherry. Where is Sherry? Leon's got her, you fool. You've just, like, asked him to go get her. Um, now, let's have you. Don't need you anymore. Probably drop that as well for now, to be honest. Uh, we'll have that. There we are. Take us back up to fine. Now, the fact that that card hasn't disappeared is making me think that possibly we need it again. I didn't think we did, but maybe we do. Uh, yeah. So, you can save this game up to 12 times before it knocks your rank down. It's something like that. Yeah, no, it, I'm, I'm sure it's 12. I actually dug out my official guide to see if there's any information there. And it does say you can save it up to 12 times before it affects your rank, which I was really surprised about. Also, if you use any of the special weapons, which I it doesn't mention what the special weapons are, or maybe it does in there somewhere. But I'm pretty sure the spark shot is a special weapon. Each one of those will knock your uh, rank down once. Now... Um, the best rank you can get in this game is by completing it in three hours or under with 12 saves or less. Uh, the best rank is A. Right, now what one of the what rooms have we been in and what haven't we been in? Uh, Oh, we've been everywhere, apparently. We need to go open... West area? We've been in these, both these rooms? Huh. Ah, yeah. It's the other way we haven't been. No, we've been in that one. So where have... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been in there yet. Hmm. I'm confused. See, that leads to the plant that goes down. Yeah, so that is technically the way we need to go in a minute, not yet. So is it the blue area that we need to go to? That's where the guest room is, because I'm pretty sure we have to go to that door and push a button. Unless I'm remembering it wrong, which, let's be honest, there's a very good chance that I am remembering it wrong. <sighs> yeah, so... That's the room. Yeah, we need to go push that button. There we go. Two more staff. Yeah, yep. Yeah, because that's what we didn't do before. You actually have to go. Um, you're right, Alan. Yeah, that's cool. So, 
that's a step that I forgot to do. That's it. That's what we need. This is the room I was looking for. You fool of a took. Right, now this bloody room's full of the undead. And explosive rounds, apparently. There's the vaccine cartridge. There's some explosive rounds, because we almost run out of those. That got a bit scary for a second. Would hate to run out of these. These bullets can't be used by themselves. Uh, yeah, no shit game. Ooh, get back, sir. Come on, I know there's more of you. This is a horrific room. Look at that fucking body scanner. Oh, God. There we go. Get out of here, zombie scum. Oh, hello. Another one for you. Oh, you want two? You greedy son of a bitch. Yeah, look at this. What a horrific... We'll take the ammo desk. What a horrific room. I think that some poor fucker was dragged here. Ah, oh, that's, that's actually quite freaky to think. Right, well, let's... Activate a VAM for base vaccine. Let's go put this in. Here we are. This is really cool on the Dreamcast because it's so high resolution. You can really see uh, a lot more detail. Um, ah, crap. We still need the other thing, don't we? Um, ah, there we go. I was going to say, I know there's a button here somewhere. There we are. Lovely. Right, so we've got the base vaccine. Now we've got to go all the way to the bottom. It's kind of like that future armor episode where Leela's with that dickhead alien guy and uh, he wants her to go make him breakfast or something. And he's like, yep, kitchen's in the basement, pans are in the attic. Oh man, future armor was the shit. Yeah, that's the cold room, we don't need to go in there. Now, it doesn't mention uh, using first aid sprays, actually, in this. To the uh, it doesn't mention anything to do with first aid sprays knocking your score down. Yeah, note. So, ranking your game. Uh, used for Resident... Uh, hang on. The ranking system used for Resident Evil 2 is primarily based on the time it takes to play. Under three hours earns an A. Three to five hours earns a B. Five to seven hours is a C. And anything seven hours is ranked D. In addition, your ranking is lowered one notch if you use any special weapon or if you save more than a dozen times. So, F8 sprays then. I guess they don't affect your rank. Which is news to me. I always thought F8 sprays affected your rank in this game. Oh, why is coffee so good? <clears throat> it's not as good as hell, you know. But it's good. It's very good. My phone is going mental. Why is my phone going mental? One second, guys. Right, let's go. Uh, all employees to the bottom platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Right. So let's go whip up that vaccine. Use the MoDisc. And then it's yippee Kaye, motherfucker. We're out. Oh, we got some zombies. Hey, zombie. Uh, what? I was wondering if we could uh, kind of like... Oh, hello, easy sailor. You just knocked me down to caution. Um, right. There we go. Oh, man. We did some damage to these guys. Oh, hey, friend. 
Now let's sort this out. Let's put our MoDisk in here to start with. There we are. There's our escape ready. Yeah, oh, I, I'm really disillusioned guys. I'm so confused about the fact that F8 sprays do not lower your rank. Did they bring that in with Resident Evil 3? I'm gonna check that, you know. Right, let's heal up. I'm going to go make the vaccine, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Do we need to heal up? I don't know if there's more enemies out here. There might be more enemies out here. Let's eat that. Alright, that's going to bring us back up to fine. We're good. But you can see though, we haven't actually been that careful, and I'm incredibly rusty on this game. And we definitely have more than enough of everything. Like, this is a really freaking easy game on normal. I'm guessing on a ranged it's going to be a bit harder. And on a ranged nightmare, oof, that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> I don't think there's any more zombies in here. Oh, I'm wondering if uh, on Resident Evil 2 arranged mode, I wonder if we're going to get different camera angles. That'll be pretty sick. I wasn't even 100% sure that there was an arranged mode for RE2. Let alone that the Dreamcast mode had, uh, uh, the Dreamcast version had a very special re fucking stonkulous uh, hard mode that is apparently, from what I read on a forum, borderline impossible. Well, we'll be the judge of that, won't we? I do need to s learn to stop talking though. Holy shit. I know that I've just set myself up for some serious pain. Yeah, apparently ammo is severely reduced and so is health items. I mean, I guess if they severely reduce ammo and health, it might make the game a little bit more challenging, I suppose. Now, do we need to save the game before the final boss? I don't think so. I really don't think we do. We just have a slightly longer video, I guess. Um, now... <laughs> I mean, we've got so much frickin' ammo here, it's just, it's not gonna matter. I mean, look, we've got three full hills. Can make another completely full hill because why not? Yeah, so we've got four complete hills. We've got. We might as well take the other grenades, I guess. I don't even know how many grenades it's going to take to kill this guy. Uh, spoiler: probably not many. Right, let's go do this guy in. To victory! This is where I die now and completely fluff it up and have to replay tons and tons and tons of game. What a horrible shame that would be to have to replay some more Resident Evil 2. Oh no! That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, now, what flavour should we take this guy out? Should we use some acid? After all, acid is really powerful against living things. And I'm going to say Mr. Birkin is a living thing. Yeah, I would say he's a living thing. Right. Ooh. Five minutes until detonation. Five minutes, you say? Five minutes is all I need. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Yep, activate the lift. Here we go. Oh, hello. Well, it's not Santa. I can assure you of that. Oof. Somebody's ugly. Let's give him as many of these as we can. Ow, ow, ow. That hurts. Ooh. Run, Claire. Claire, you're not listening to me. Oh, Claire, you're running into the wall. That was unfortunate. 
Right, let's move in the right direction. Oh. You disappoint me, sir! Oh, he's getting bigger. Doesn't like acid. Well, you ain't a pretty boy, are you? Pretty sure even your mother would say so. Uh, now, stop doing that, please. Look, just because I have loads of grenade ammo doesn't mean you can waste it all, bud. Now, if you could come down, thank you. You just made me waste my precious... Oh, dude, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Um, no, 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 no. Look, just because you think you're the biggest thing around, which I can assure you, sir, you are not, doesn't mean you can throw Redfield around like this. Uh, Claire, can you aim at him, please? Claire, you're not listening to me, Claire. Claire. There we go. Ooh, swallow that. Ooh. Ooh, he's not liking this at all. There we go. I don't actually know where he is. Oh, right, he's dying. Yeah, I've got the best tactics. Just stand in the corner and shoot. It works. <laughs> yeah, tank the damage. We had... We had five rounds left. You right there, buddy? You're not, you're not looking so good. You're really not looking that that fantastic, mate. Just polish you off with a little bit of acid. There we go. There we go. Oof. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a little bit of a, an Easter egg. It doesn't look like he's actually dead. So, I guess that's a bit of a hint. Or allude slightly to the next uh, episode. And I like the way Claire's just cheesing it out of here. She has no idea if Leon or, or Cherry have made it. But she's like, well, TS. Ha, <laughs> I was just in time. Oh no! Hurry! I think she heard you, dude. Looks like some weird doll. Claire? Where am I? It worked! <laughs> it oh, worked! You're gonna be okay. Thanks, Claire. It's over. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Oh man, Leon looks so weird with that bloody 90s haircut of his. Ah, my God has protected you. He looks so strange. It will always be with you. Claire. Sherry. Cheese. Yeah, Leon's design definitely came along a long way. They did uh, they did good things. And there we go, guys. Resident Evil 2, Scenario A, as Claire, on baby mode. Okay, I mean, I'll give you that, but just warming up, you know. So, 
Is this game still fun to play? Absolutely. I don't think this game's ever not going to be fun to play. Um, until we can't emulate it properly or play it on anything because we're all old men and there's no way of accessing any of these old consoles. Or discs. All the discs have got disc rot. Maybe we'll be playing it in our brains on some kind of uber, I don't know, high-tech brain console. Ah, there we go. That's something Nintendo would come up with. Some kind of, like, I don't know, thing that you shove up your ass. Nintendo's weird. Me and my mate have been talking a lot about Nintendo. And uh, you can never count on what they're going to do. You know Microsoft's going to come out with another console and you're going to stick it under your TV and it's going to play games and Sony's going to come out with another console and you're going to stick it under your TV and it's going to play games. Nintendo, you don't know what Nintendo's going to do. Who knows? Some kind of butt plug? Some kind of, I don't know, glasses that you wear that projects the game into your skull? Now they were coming. They were going to come out with that thing that you put on your fingertip as well, that medical sensor. Yeah, Nintendo's strange. But that's why we like them, because they come up with random shit. But as much as people poo-poo Microsoft and Sony for just coming out with more consoles that are a little bit more powerful, that's what the majority of us want. We just want a freaking console that we can stick under the telly so when we come back from work, we can sit on our ass in front of the couch and chill out. But I enjoyed playing through that game again, guys. That was so fun. And I did that in pretty much, apart from two episodes, I did that in one sitting. And I enjoyed that. But we're not done yet. No. We still have the second part to go through. And arranged mode. Which is going to be fun. I'm guessing we got like a C. Wait, where's my rank? <gasps> oh, there we go. Now, there was some time where the game was paused. So I don't know what our time's going to be. Four hours. Oh, we got a B rank. Five saves. Okay. You'll probably take about half hour off that, I suppose. Could definitely do that quicker. Um, <clears throat> oh, shh. No, no, no. I was going to say, that would have been an A if I'd been a little bit better on the old uh, leaving the game paused after each episode. But actually, no, it wouldn't have been because it has to be under three hours. Definitely didn't leave this game. Definitely didn't leave it paused for that long. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it there. And then we can get rid of the other saves then. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, I guess... Oh, you can play hard scenario. Right, yeah, because you have to unlock hard mode. Ah. So when we come back, guys, we're going to be going around once more. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.